Harris Jackson enters church one evening, grabs a door knocker, gives him a twist. The door opens with a huge, horrible creak. The whites are off, except it seems like Mickey Mouse has lit some candles because he knew she was on her way. Harris enters suspiciously. Hello, anybody in there? In here. The door behind her slams shut. A large church melody prays in the front of the place in the pipe organ. She walks towards the middle of the church. She sees an arrow on the floor with the words open sesame on the solid floor block. She flips a stone over and tons of snakes and ladders suspend themselves from vines that grow through the roof from a tree that just got struck by the world's lightning. The snakes and ladders are all suspended from the church ceiling like a huge puzzle. She must ride the old bicycle up along the snakes and ladders to reach the magic hat. It's in a certain type of nest within the bell tower. She rides up on an angle with some anti-gravitational magic shoes. She summons from the book of spells on the floor. She rides the bike up the snake across the ladder until she's gone round and round the room of the church like a huge puzzle. This is no trouble for Miss Pagina, Miss Tinkerbell. She has a magic princess escape that allows her to walk in mid-air the last steps of the way where there's no snakes or no ladders. She takes the walk of faith at the top of this disabandoned cathedral. She clinches the deal and puts the magic hat on and floats back down to the altar just in time for some church wine. She realises blocks she removed from the church floor that unleash the snakes and ladders leads straight down underground to a whole upside down world of staircases where she has a wonderful time wondering why everything in her world is upside down. It reminds her of something she's seen before somewhere, only this is twisting staircases and odd stairs that don't go anywhere and the lever in mid-air, upside down. Also, the staircases are moving around and joining up like a video game. Donkey Kong. Game to escape. She must slide these huge pieces of staircase into place to make a random bunch of steps or stepping stones to escape back to her reality. She hopes it is all just a dream. She can't budge any of the steps, so she cries a huge scream and wishes Moogie, me, her thought genie, was there to help her turn the old ropes and the cogs and the steering wheels to align these slightly evil, slightly menacing walking steps so that the gap of white at the top or bottom of the upside down world is in her grasp. Between Pagina and I, Tinkerbell and myself, we build this giant game of Tatra steps into, into an escape plan to set her free and get her back to safety, back to the future. She eventually wakes up in a row of chairs in church, realising she, that she fell asleep to the very haunting music within the church, and Moogie's not really, how could he...